next guest grew up reading the encyclopedia for fun. Mm, I read the dictionary. I think we're going to be besties. Oh, but she went on to be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Well, that's where we differ. Knowledge is a very powerful thing. Please welcome the amazing, honestly, a true game changer, Stacey Abrams. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting in front of Ever After. So oh my go. God, that's the film that changed my life. Mine too, so I can quote the entire film to you, but we don't have that kind of time today. Well, uh, we should make time for that. And it is so surreal to see you in person because I've watched you so closely over the years yeah. because I, I am very passionate about voting and, and that it's necessary to do it's whatever party you vote for, whoever you vote for, you vote. I mean, part of my job, and... Uh, I run for office, yes, but my first responsibility is to make sure anyone who wants to vote can, who's eligible. I want you to vote for me when you get in there, but, <laughs> but protecting democracy is not about a person. It's about the ideals. Our democracy is this collective hallucination we have where we say we're going to work together to help each other. And if anyone sort of blinks and comes out of it like the matrix, it starts to fall apart. And that's why it's so vital that regardless of who you vote for, your voice matters because your silence is also permission. And we have to remember that the, the, fun, the reason voting was denied to so many for so long, women, people of color, young people, non-property owners, every time we advance access to the vote, we're advancing access to society. You're advancing access to the policies that make your life better or worse. Well, I, and that's why I won't go away. I get yeah, good, and <laughs> when nobody wants you to, you need to stay around. You've been such a galvanizer. Now, at the commercial break, I said something about you have an Excel spreadsheet yes. that you've been keeping since you were a teenager. Will you please tell me what that means and what that is? So when I was in college, I fell in love with a boy who was mean to me. Um, oh, God. Up, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what? We've all done that. Yeah, well, he broke up with me, and he said that I was too ambitious and wanted too many things, and I would end up alone and lonely. Uh, and so I got really mad. And then I was like, fine, I'm going to figure out all the things I'm going to do to make him rue the day that he was mean to me. And so I, this was now, to, I'm old, I'm 49. So I may be 48. We're right next to each go. other. So you'll appreciate this. This was before Excel. This is when it was Lotus 1, 2, 3. Right, okay. And you had to go to the computer lab because owning a computer meant that you could buy the world. So right. I went to the computer lab at Spelman and I did a spreadsheet and I laid out all the things I was going to accomplish and all the ways I was going to just be fantastic and magnificent. And I don't know if he's ever going to see it, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay on my spreadsheet. Do you think you've achieved? Are there any left? Oh, yeah. So, so the way it worked, when I first did it, there, there were my three big goals. Uh, I wanted to be a millionaire by 30, did not make it. Uh, wanted to be mayor of Atlanta, changed my mind. And I wanted to be a best-selling author. It took a minute. But what was so important was that by giving myself these goals, I then had to figure out what are the steps you take to get there. And what I do is... By laying out the, the goal, you start to realize how important the steps are. And yep. what we do so often is we are so fixated on and the, the end that we ignore all the pieces. And if, if you just have a goal, that's called a dream. If you have steps, that's called a plan. And we spend so much time dreaming, we never plan. <laughs> <laughs> and so my mission was to lay out my plan. And so when my goals change, my plan doesn't because my plan is always about what are, what are the foundational pieces I need? What are the next steps I need? So yes, I, I may not win X, but here are all the things I was able to do. Here are the people I touched. Here are the lives I, I impacted. Here's the way I'm a better person. So what's next? Are you going to run again? Are you going? Like, are you, do we get to look forward to this and galvanize <laughs> I, I, again? I, I will likely run again. Yeah! I don't know what, I don't know what. <laughs> Oh my God, so are you gonna go up against um, some tough men who kind of don't always play fair? <laughs> well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And if it doesn't work, you try again. But the issue is, what did you learn? Did you, did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about your opponent? 
and making sure that you're always remembering why you're doing it. Because can you stay calm? Because I feel like my inner rebel would come out. Like I oh. am fire starter still. I, you know, <laughs> I just feel like there, like I don't, I would be on that stage and I would just be like, really? <laughs> funny you should bring that up. <laughs> 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 How do you keep it under control? My, so when I debate, when I do debates, most people think about debates as I'm fighting you. No, my job is to educate the people watching. The people who turn into that debate want to learn something. And so my job is to talk to them. This person is a That's foil. That's smart. And I really love that. I think we can all learn from that.